Sometimes you're the windshield. Sometimes you're the bug. Sometimes it all comes together, baby. Sometimes you're a fool in love. Sometimes you're gonna lose it all. Have you ever wanted to walk into Walmart and just slap the greeter? <laughs> well, see, my daddy was a tomato farmer. He was 10th grade educated, but he was a smart guy. I was proud of my daddy. And every year after the third time in the field, he would allow me and my buds to go in the tomato field and have the best tomato fight, I'm telling you. I mean, we were covered. And I'll never forget my friend Douglas. He was always the prankster. He found a green hard tomato, immature like he was. <laughs> Slung that thing at me, hit me in the back. I, whoa! But that was my first real clue that people are gonna throw tomatoes. Okay? Now, what do you do? This is what you do. You learn to make ketchup. <laughs> oh, you know what else you can do? Instead of ketchup, you can have some humor and throw in some salsa. I vowed and declared that I would never do that kind of work. I saw my daddy drag himself in from that tomato field and it was tough. And I said something dumb, I said, I'll never do that. And I ended up creating the neatest business, helping my daddy help me, because I saw how hard he worked. It was the best, worst job I ever had. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? It's stuff that you learn. I learned about customer service. I learned about rejection. I learned about time management. I learned about energy management. I learned about people. I learned to give people what they really want. Help your customers be happy. Have a great environment to work in. I learned so much of that from that hot tomato field. I needed to know how to sell my tomatoes. So I went to Piggly Wiggly, talked to the produce man, Leroy, love Leroy. I said, Leroy, let me see tomatoes. Oh my goodness, y'all, they were dirty and nasty. Stems still in them, leaves stuck to them, fertilizer. I said, this won't work. So I went to the packing shed and I bought big old 30 pound boxes, waxed, you know. I went to the big old oak tree in the backyard and I dumped all my tomatoes in a tub and washed them. Packed them upside down, pretty, shined them up. Guess what? I sold every one. And I realized I was creating a life principle for myself. And this is it. It's called the shine principle. How do you shine? What makes you shine? What special gifts and talents do you bring into what you do? I struggled with shining. Y'all, I was the little ugly first grader. I mean, these lips have never changed size. Now, I like them now. <laughs> but when you're five years old, the dog don't hunt, okay? Let's just say it. Don't you love people with a good sense of humor? Oh, my goodness, teachers, they've got some stories. I love my friend Deborah. We sit by one another at choir. I said, Deborah, tell me something funny. She said, oh, Jane, I was substitute teaching last week little kindergarten class. I walked in, I said, boys and girls, I'm your substitute teacher. One of the little girls ran to the reading lab, mutual friend of ours, and said, guess what? Our real teacher is sick today, but we got a prostitute teacher. <laughs> what I'm telling you is if you do the right thing and you can shake it off and learn from it, so the next time you have a difficult person you need to talk to and you're just frustrated, just go up to him and go like this. <laughs> just walk off. Just walk off. Yeah. That's what you do. Every day. And then they'll get it. Because you're going to do the right thing, you're going to shake it off, and you're going to learn a lesson and turn it around, and that is the coal principle right there. It's very true. And we were holding hands that were getting ready to announce, as she would say, Miss America, the only one really that was herself. And if I says, what do y'all talk about before they announce the winner? I said, Lord, you lie. 
You look to the girl to the right and say, I hope you win. And what you're thinking is, I hope you trip. <laughs> and I looked at her. It was all over. I got my southern back. I said, I hope you win. She said, I'm gonna. <laughs> and then Bert Park said, and the near Miss America is Miss Mississippi. She looked at me and said, told you. <laughs> Walked down that 400-foot ramp. My jaw dropped. And a lot of people ask me, How'd you do it, Miss America? Well, I did not win Miss America, but I married her boyfriend. <laughs> and I think about all those changes in my life, and I think about what my mother left me. She said, I want you to celebrate life, Jane. Travel, meet people, enjoy the shine, enjoy life, don't be sad. Remember our good times, and I'm going to make you laugh. After I pass away, I'm going to make you laugh. I thought, oh, this is scary. <laughs> well, I'm cleaning out this little drawer, and in it was an envelope. I knew my mama had left that there. It said, Elena's Sunday School Joke. Now, just for the record, my mama never told Sunday School jokes. Those were her little naughty jokes. So I opened the piece of paper, and it went like this. A woman's getting on a bus. She has a very tight skirt on. She goes to lift her leg. She can't get her leg up. She gets real frustrated. She unzips her skirt just a little bit. She sees a line of people behind her. She's really upset now. Tries again to lift that leg up. Still couldn't get her leg up. She reaches down. She unzips that skirt just a little bit more. Tries one more time. Could not get that leg up. Honey, she got so frustrated, she just unzipped that skirt all the way down. She feels these strong hands on her waist, lifting her to the top of that bus. She wheels around and said, how dare you be so fresh? He said, me fresh, you've unzipped my pants three times. <laughs> I am much my best at just being your drum. And if I'm fanned out, don't turn it back, sir. At least I didn't fake it out, sir. Guess I didn't make it. Get ready for me, love, cause I'm a comma. I simply gotta march my heart to drama. No, don't let nobody is gonna rain or throw tomatoes at or rain on your parade. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much.